Every user in iSpring Learn has a specific role that defines their permissions on the platform. Now all the roles can be viewed on the Users page under the Roles tab. Here are the default roles in the LMS. Account Administrator, Account Owner, Department Administrator, Learner, and Publisher. Learners are able to take courses and see only their learning portal. Administrators have broader rights and are allowed to manage the platform and users, and you can add new roles with custom settings. Okay, let's create a system administrator role. In the description, you can add a brief explanation of what users within this role will be permitted to do. And now you can choose what sections the users will have access to by checking any of the boxes. The systems administrator from my company only needs additional access to list of users. They don't deal with any of the other areas of the company, so we don't need to include anything else. Now let's save the new role. It'll appear right here in the list of all roles. It's important to note that the four default roles cannot be changed. They're marked with the lock icons. But you can always change those roles that you've created yourself by selecting it and then choosing Edit, Duplicate, or Delete if it's no longer needed. To change the role of a user, you need to open their profile. You'll see a new section has appeared, Access Level. Now I can select from the list the role and the department that this user manages. Now when a user with the System Administrator role logs into the account, they'll only see the list of users of their department, as well as the Messages section, which is needed for chatting with the users. And that's how to create custom user roles using iSpring Learn. See you for the next tutorial.